Hey guys, Don here, and we're doing the beer review. Go on, another beer. Oh, this one's a weird one. This one's uh, another one that's left over from the Brewers Bash in Fredericton, New Brunswick, of course. This one's from Church Key Brewing. I think the last one I had was from Church Key. Church Key, uh, I think it was the. Uh, I don't know, it was the other one I had. The uh, fire. Oh, man, I'm wasting the other one I can't remember what it was. This one. This one should be interesting. Very interesting. This one's called Umami Crimini Mushroom Ale. From Church Key, Bre Church Key Brewing Company, Camelford, Ontario. 650 mil. 7% alcohol by volume. So we got. So yeah, I mm, love mushrooms. I love beer. So yeah, should be interesting, right? Right? Maybe <laughs> the smoke off there. Oh, she's fall right to the top, dude. But anyways, uh, let's give her a pour. Very nice looking beer for sure. Slightly hazy orange, yellowish kind of kind of a color going on there. Uh, yeah, slightly off white head. <laughs> Just burn pretty quick. Yeah, fair amount of carbonation. Yeah, so, yeah, so I got to start redoing some of my uh, or rethinking my beer reviews because somebody said, "Well done, you're." He, looked at the beer, he said it was okay, he didn't say what it tastes like or anything. And, yeah, sometimes I get rambling and I'm sure there's more than more than one of my beer reviews that are like that, so. Anyways guys, if you see them, I apologize, but I'm gonna, you know, start, uh, you know, paying closer attention, you know, what's going on here, I guess. So yeah, where we get? It looks nice. Let's give her a smell. Ooh. Well, there's an earthiness there, but and there's a almost like a baker's chocolate bitterness kind of the baker's chocolate kind of smell going on. Hmm. Besides that, it's kind of hard to tell, but what else is in there? I've never had a criminy mushroom before, but or mushroom ale for that matter. <laughs> Guys, cheers! Let's give her a taste. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. It's a. Uh, very thick. Big, thick mouthfeel on it. Oh, well, just 7%, but. Hmm. Hmm. Almost gonna leave a little hoppiness out of it. Maybe a little bit of mushroom, you know, it, the way the brown part of the bottom of mushroom tastes, there's a little bit of that, but it's almost a real light baker's super, like like a well, like a bitter chocolate, and almost a little bit of uh, like a, a sweet, like a milk chocolate in there as well. Fairly dry taste, you know, like on the back end, fairly dry, I mean, there's it's not super complex or anything, but honestly, taste say I never taste anything quite like it. <coughs> and these very interesting. I mean, it's 
kind of hard to explain what it tastes like. I mean, it's really thick, like, um, I'm still getting chocolate off it, like a lot of chocolate. But I suppose uh, mushrooms do have a lot of different tastes. And, hmm. Oh, mummy. <laughs> Crummy mushroom ale. Very different. Yeah, I'll probably showed that before, but pretty cool label. And I guess these ones weren't really flying off the shelves at all at from the the leftovers there. We were left at the uh what, the liquor store? The beer store. That is a very, very interesting beer. Like I said, not overly complex, but hmm. Very strange. I mean, there's a little earthiness there, but I'm getting like a... It's almost like a light... There's Belgian qualities in there with the yeastiness. There's a porter quality in there with like a little bit of cho chocolate. And... Then a little bit of... Even a little bit of coffee in there. And, yeah, there's definitely... There's stout qualities in there as well. Huh. Cheers to these guys on this one. That is very friggin' strange. Wow. Hmm. I definitely would have bought more if I knew it was this good. I mean, it's not. It's not. I mean, you mean like I said? I can just compare it to like four or five different types of beers, and it's all there. But you know, like I said, the. Put, if you add mushrooms to any equation, I guess everything could be sort of changes up a bit. Just, yeah, you know, it's really weird and interesting and fairly fantastic. I don't know, it's just, uh, geez, it's totally different. Mushroom ale. Hmm. Wow. Excuse me. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say about this one. This one's, yeah. It's pretty tasty, very different. 7%, pff, not a trace of that whatsoever. Because there's no burn, there's no nothing, it's just that it has a big, big thick mouthfeel, and it has the chocolate, coffee, little earthiness from, and a little bit like mushroomy kind of thing going on. But yeah, this is a, uh, this is a solid four beer right here, like a solid four to five, easy. I really like this one, and it's kind of surprising. <laughs> and yeah, honestly, if I had a, if there had been more, if I had known I had, would have liked it, I would have bought probably a couple more. But I sort of just took a chance on it. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, good, good beer. Huh. Very surprised. Well, Church Key, good beer, good, good beer. Very surprising. See you in a bit, guys. Have a good one.